Welcome, hunters and huntresses, to another game of Dead by Daylight. With tonight's game, we're going to see just how good the info perk Gearhead is on the Huntress. The Huntress is a simple killer. You see a survivor, you throw a hatchet. The only catch is that she's also a slow killer, moving at 110% of the survivor's movement speed, as opposed to the normal killer speed of 115. So you'll have to hit those shots with your hatchets. To give us targets for our shots, we're going to be using the commonly ignored perk Gearhead. Gearhead activates every time a survivor is injured, and while active, any survivor who hits a good skill check on a generator has their aura revealed for 8 seconds. It's not hard to activate Gearhead, and survivors are mostly going to hit good skill checks. So why is this perk so unused? There's a few reasons. Survivors calmly working on gens likely won't be nearby so it'll be tough for the average killer to make good use of this info. Especially since if you're injuring survivors, you're probably locked into a chase, and not in a good place to pressure a generator. Another issue that this perk has is that the info given is given fairly subtly. Unlike perks like Barbecue and Chili, which reveals far away survivor auras when hooking another survivor, Gearhead is only active when you're occupied, and the aura reading you'll get is inconsistent, so you're not even going to notice the auras if you're not looking for them. And unlike perks like Discordance, which highlights generators being worked on by two or more survivors, Gearhead makes no sound notification to get your attention. There are some upsides, however. 8 seconds for the reveal is a long time, and can often help you track survivors moving away from the generators, perhaps as they try and hide from you. Also, because you're naturally going to be getting hits through playing normally, Gearhead will be giving constant passive information. The key to making this perk work is going to be to simply pay extra attention to the generators as we play, looking for opportunities to do a little hatchet sniping. For our other perks, we're going to be running the aforementioned barbecue and chili for some more aura rating. The popularity of this perk has waned over time, partially due to the old blood point bonus being removed from it, but also due to the survivor perk distortion currently being meta. Distortion hides aura rating but has a limited number of charges. Gearhead will actually help us with this, as Gearhead's aura reading power will quickly chew through stacks for any survivor working on a generator who struggles at hitting great skill checks. For game slow, we're going to be running Pop Goes the Weasel to supercharge our gen kicks after hooking a survivor, along with Deadlock, which will automatically lock down an incomplete generator with the most progress every time another generator is completed. Both of these are getting nerfed in the next patch, so let's take advantage of them while we still can. For add-ons, we're going to run some simple brown ones to decrease the time between hatchet throws and to make our hatchets apply the blindness status effect. Blindness prevents ore reading, and this add-on is actually quite strong, since the survivor perk Windows of Opportunity is an extremely common perk, and many survivors have become dependent on it. Our game plan is simple. See some auras and throw some hatchets? Should be easy, right? Well, let's find out. Alright, RPV. I've been getting this map a lot lately, and I'm okay with that. I didn't know the map at first because I've never really been a Resident Evil guy. But uh, now that I know it, it's pretty fun. I don't know how much sniping we're going to be able to do on this map, though. I can see nobody spawned by the main gens, and there is somebody right here. Chasing down this tiger infested hallway. He's not playing any of these areas, he's just running, and I hear him running around the corner. Peek boo. Oh, okay, watch this. Gotcha. Survivors always do that. Whenever there's a high drop like that... Oh, hold on. There's someone right over here somewhere. Oh, whenever there's a high drop like that, survivors always run towards you. I don't know why, but they'll run like back the way that they came, trying to break line of sight, I guess. But, always funny when you can do a shot like that. I'm just going to pick you up since you uh, stupidly moved away from the pal there. Okay, a nice quick first hook. I don't 
don't know where this other guy went. I'm seeing some weird scratch marks, but... It's possible he's going for the unhook. Uh, yep, okay, he's going for the unhook. Let's see if we can swing around. I doubt they're going to go this way to heal, but you never know. It'd be good to check this gen, too. Oh, yeah, somebody's here. Two people are here. Catch! That's a nice hit. And that was not... Ugh. You can tell I don't play Huntress much, because I'm still not used to these stupid hitboxes. Actually, let me pop this real quick. Get a couple kicks in there for my challenge. There's Gearhead giving us some information. Yoink. And let me get this grab. It's a big mistake. Now I can go and just pop your jet. Okay, let's look around and see if Gearhead's giving us any information. This is not the uh, loop you want to play, lady. Okay. Pick her up. Another fast unhook. Works well for us. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna hook her there, I guess. Man, that several play. Oh, that's, that's game winning right there. Good job. Yeah, I better grab a hatchet. That is a long aura read up there. I think that's Gearhead in action. Ah, I was hoping she'd run across and I could hit her. So yeah, Gearhead, uh, it's an interesting perk. I've been playing around with it a little bit. I don't know uh, how strong it is, but if there's anyone who could take advantage of it, it'd be the Huntress. Okay, let's make sure to aim this a little high to avoid clipping that desk there. Nah. Nah, I don't think I can get her from here. Let's pick her up before she crawls to that pallet. And we got a nice pop here for that gen, just in case it has a little progress. Oh, hold on a minute. Barbecue's showing me some good auras over there. And that gen really doesn't need the kick. Another fast unhook. Okay, watch this. Kobe! Ah! Yeah. This map may not be great for snipes, but it is pretty great for nice, long, open hallways. Okay, so we've got some good information right there. Uh, I think I'm seeing them on the generator. Yeah, at first it was barbecue, but Gearhead is uh, keeping them lit up. Shame I can't do much about it, though. I'm not sure where the other two went, but... Oh, they did get the heal off. No, I don't know how I missed that. Another pop on this one. I need hatchets. Let's uh, let's let him go for a bit. Let's head over to the unhooker over here. I don't actually need to kick that. By the way, I'm just going for my challenge. Okay, I hear somebody directly below me. And here's their blood pools. I don't necessarily want to go for the injured person, but I can't find anybody else. So you're out of luck. I think I can cut her off here too, if I just swing around. Oh good, you're the one I wanted. Nobody else around. I don't know where the injured person went, but that's fine. There's not much he can do here. That was a nice scream. 
Okay, I'll put her up. Uh, you'll notice sometimes I try to hook people kind of at the edges of the map when I'm using barbecue, just to maximize the aura reading. And I'm seeing a lot of auras this game, so I doubt there's many people running uh, distortion. Probably nobody. Okay, I thought I saw someone over here. Let's grab a couple hatches. They really did do a nice job with the aesthetics of this map. I just wish they hadn't put all this multicolored, you know, entity crap all over the walls. Do we really need all these, like, red-orange bubbles everywhere? Like, does it add anything? Not really, right? Also, I have no idea where they are. Let's check that gen. I bet you they're still on it. Yeah, I hear it getting uh, done. And I think that hook survivor is just going to die on hook. Yeah, they just didn't bother rescuing him. Oh, good work. You not only gave me a free grab, you let them die on the hook. And you know what? Now I've got pop. You ready for this? Get ready. Can you see this 99 gen? Oh yeah, it's a good feeling. Next time, uh, save your friend. Once again. Okay, I only need one more kick for my challenge. Oh, she got caught for a second. Okay, and I think you're on death hook too. This is going to be a fast match. Just leaves her and uh, the Jake who's hiding somewhere. I can't tell who that's on the generator, but I think that's Gearhead from how long that uh, the ore reading's active. Oh, okay, so they were both on that gen. All right, looks like they're both going up. I don't see any scratch marks going in the building. Ooh, not a good time to heal. You know what? I, I want this pallet for my challenge. Yeah, thanks. Here, uh, hold this for me. There we go. Just grab one of these, just in case. And hey, thanks for waiting. Don't know where he went. Can't see him with barbecue. Probably didn't get too far then. Yeah, yeah, all right. Fine. Oh, I gotta carry the guy now. I'll walk for himself. Jeez. There you go. Now get out of here. Oh, hey, he was doing his adept. Eh, lucky him. Gearhead may not have helped much for long-range hatchets on this particular map, but it gave surprisingly good general info throughout the game. If you wanted more aura reading for during a chase instead, a perk you could try is I'm All Ears, which can lead to some nice mid-game shots. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you enjoyed the Huntress gameplay and wanted more of her, let me know in the comments below.